NASA has just captured its most detailed image of the Sun yet, and what they discovered is truly disturbing. The Sun has held many secrets buried on its surface thanks to its harsh conditions, but that has all changed thanks to modern observational methods. So, what did NASA discover on the Sun that is so fascinating? Be sure to stay tuned till the end and remember to like and subscribe as we dive into the mysteries of the Sun and how some disturbing new discoveries could finally help us unravel the secrets that this star holds. The recent images captured by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory have revealed fascinating and unprecedented phenomena on the Sun's surface, sparking curiosity and raising questions among scientists. Among the remarkable observations were what appeared to be rain of hot plasma, towering grass-like structures, and large cracks on the Sun's surface, forming immense bubbles. These observations challenge our current understanding of the Sun's behavior. While some of these phenomena may have been observed in different forms before, the scale and complexities captured in these images are remarkable. Understanding the significance and implications of these phenomena is crucial for advancing our knowledge of solar dynamics and their potential impacts on space weather and Earth's climate. NASA's achievement in capturing these images from a great distance is a testament to the advancements in space technology and imaging capabilities. The Solar Dynamics Observatory, equipped with state-of-the-art instruments, plays a vital role in continuously monitoring the Sun's activity and providing valuable data for scientific research. The ongoing Parker Solar Probe mission, aiming to fly through the Sun's outer atmosphere, the Solar Corona, holds promise for furthering our understanding of the Sun's dynamics and unlocking mysteries surrounding its behavior. Touching the Sun, metaphorically speaking, refers to studying and understanding the various phenomena occurring on the Sun's surface and in its atmosphere. Despite its distance from Earth, scientists have developed sophisticated instruments and missions to observe and analyze the Sun's behavior up close, allowing them to gain insights into its complex workings. The Sun is composed of super-hot plasma, and its outer layer, known as the corona, is particularly intriguing due to its extreme temperatures, which are much higher than the visible surface of the Sun, called the photosphere. Understanding the processes occurring in the corona is crucial for predicting solar flares and other solar events that can impact Earth. Solar flares caused by phenomena such as coronal mass ejections can have significant consequences for Earth's technology and atmosphere. These events can disrupt satellite communications, power grids and navigation systems, posing risks to both infrastructure and human activities. Recent incidents, such as the disruption of radio and navigation signals in North America due to a powerful solar flare, highlight the importance of studying and monitoring solar activity. By closely examining the sun's behavior and accurately predicting solar events, scientists can better prepare for and mitigate the impacts of solar flares on Earth. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory mission, launched in 2010, plays a crucial role in studying the sun's electromagnetic emissions and providing valuable data for space weather forecasting. By orbiting the sun, and observing it in various wavelengths. This mission helps scientists unravel the mysteries of solar activity and improve our understanding of its effects on our planet. The Sun's layers, similar to Earth's atmospheric layers, consist of the corona, chromosphere and photosphere, each with distinct characteristics and temperatures. To study the Sun effectively, NASA utilized observations across multiple wavelengths with initial focus on the outer layer, the corona. Observations in ultraviolet light revealed astonishing phenomena, including what appeared to be 
hot, boiling lava raining down onto the sun's surface. Further investigation revealed that this phenomenon was part of a larger process occurring in the sun's corona. The corona, composed of plasma or charged particles, interacts with the sun's intense magnetic field. This interaction causes the magnetic field to eject plasma outward. When charged particles move within a magnetic field, the field exerts a force on them, pushing them away. The phenomenon of coronal rain is similar to the water cycle on Earth. Solar flares, bursts of intense energy, occur due to magnetic reconnection in the plasma on the sun's surface. These flares can travel from the sun to Earth and back in just a few hours. As they cool down while reaching the outer layer of the corona, they descend back onto the sun's surface as lava rain, a phenomenon scientists have dubbed coronal rain. With a deeper understanding of the corona, scientists ventured closer to the sun to study its middle layer, the chromosphere. Using ultraviolet light of specific wavelengths, they observed surprising formations in the chromosphere. Contrary to previous beliefs, the chromosphere is not as smooth as once thought. Scientists observed peculiar formations resembling Mount Everest sprouting up every five minutes, resembling towering blades of grass. These structures travel at a speed 60 times faster than the outer layers of the sun, propelled with the velocity of sound. The phenomenon of grass-like structures in the sun's chromosphere occurs due to the faster rotation of the sun's equator compared to its poles. This rotation leads to a twisting and entanglement of the sun's magnetic field, similar to a stretched rubber band, forming small loops on the sun's surface. When these loops become untangled or tangled again, shock waves reverberate through the chromosphere, giving rise to sharp grass-like structures. After deciphering the secrets of these structures, scientists turned their attention to the next layer, the photosphere. To observe this layer, they adjusted the wavelength of light once again. The photosphere, with its scorching temperature of 5,000 degrees Celsius, is best observed in the brightest visible wavelength. When capturing images of the sun's surface at this wavelength, scientists noticed numerous cracks. Initially appearing unclear, scientists believed these cracks were merely pixels. However, upon closer examination, they realized that these pixels were actually features on the sun's surface undergoing constant damage, coined as solar granules. The solar granules, despite their seemingly small appearance, are as vast as some of the largest US states, such as Texas. They form through a process similar to the creation of supercontinents like Pangaea on Earth, similar to how temperature variations below Earth's surface lead to the ascent of hot lava near the core and the descent of cooled lava, the Sun's core experiences a comparable phenomenon. Here, hot plasma rises while cooled plasma sinks, contributing to the birth of these solar granules. When observed from above, the ascending plasma resembles bubbles, with the gaps between adjacent bubbles mirroring cracks. This complicated process results in the captivating surface features observed on the Sun's photosphere. Upon magnification of the photosphere, formerly perceived as dark spots in the wider image, become more distinct. NASA clarifies that these dark areas result from the Sun's magnetic field, much like how the magnetic field influences structures like grass in the chromosphere. The Sun's twisted magnetic field creates small loops on its surface. These loops generate shock waves on a larger scale. On a microscopic level, the charged particles within the plasma align in a common pattern due to the strong magnetic field. This alignment reduces the vibration of the charged particles, leading to plasma cooling and the formation of black spots representing the plasma image. This phenomenon is termed gravitational pooling of plasma. Interestingly, the most detailed image of the sun taken from Earth reveals a smooth surface during sunrise or sunset corresponding to the photosphere. Studying the layers of the sun, 
provides valuable insights into the complex processes taking place within it. Space agencies such as NASA and ISRO meticulously monitor these phenomena. While no exceptionally peculiar occurrences have been detected, there remain unanswered questions that necessitate further exploration. For instance, why have all space agencies, including ISRO, launched 10 solar missions in the last two decades if everything is supposedly normal with the Sun? It's not like searching for water on a distant planet or planning to establish a colony. So, what drives the need for repeated research missions? Do scientists possess specific insights or is there a hidden interest behind this enthusiasm that eludes common understanding? What do you think? Is the recent uptick in solar missions justified or are space agencies hiding something? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.